Marvin Bonds, I, I really like Marvin Bonds. I mean, he, you know, he was a senior when I was a freshman, as I mentioned, but I mean, he was, he was a, a, a really good guy. I mean, he, you know, he, he loved his friends, he loved people, and, you know, he, he had a tendency to get himself in trouble once in a while, but one of the best stories I could tell you is that um, one game we're playing in the Providence Civic Center, and he's late for a game. We're out warming up, and he's not at the game yet. We're playing Austin P. in Providence. Austin P. had a, had a, had a player named uh, Fly, uh, Fly, Fly Williams, who's a really good player. And they come into town, and it's a sellout crowd. All our games were sold out back then. And and he's not even in warm-ups, so everybody's like wondering, where's Marvin? But he, he shows up late. He parks his car in front of the Civic Center and runs into the front gate there, front door, runs downstairs, gets dressed, and he comes out for like the last minute of warm-ups, and then the horn goes off and the game's ready to start. Well, he goes out there, the coach is mad at him, of course, but we all, you know, it's Marvin, it's just like, when, you know, Manny were Manny, it's, you know, Manny being Manny, but that was Marvin being Marvin, he just showed up late, and he goes out for the jump ball, wins the jump ball, well, he goes on in that game and scores 50 points, no, 52 points, and like 28 rebounds. Didn't even warm up. And we won the game by a two, and he had the winning basket. And after the game, well, what happened was they towed his car after the game uh, to the next door, uh, next gas station next door, the police station. Now, the police towed it, but the, the gas station next door held the car when they towed him. So he comes out, and he goes, where's my car? And they said, the police have told you, so they want my car. He says, you can't have your car. Because you got to go to the police station to get it. You, you, you were towed. Well, he goes to the police station. He gets in a little bit of a scuffle with the people who own the gas station. So a friend of my father's uh, was the captain of police on duty that night. So he calls my father and says, listen, we got mama down here. we got a situation here. So my father goes down and pays the fine for the car. It was like, you know, 20 bucks to get the car out being towed back then. And Marvin gets the car back, and he goes home, and there's no no problems. The police were very good at handling it all, and my father paid the fine, and off, off Marvin went. So the next day in practice, he comes in, he says, hey, Rook, he used to call me Rook. He says, hey, Rook, come here. He says, anybody goes near you the rest of the year, you just run by me, and I'll knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> so but that, that was many stories about Marvin, but he was a... Uh, but imagine he comes in late for the game and gets 52 points and 28 rebounds and a winning basket. 